Alright you little faggots, it's time for another goddamn video and today's video is a honey badger update and a package from good old feller from the OG realm of Hyrule, Skull Island. How about that? Semen life. Ooh. Let's see what the note says. Coke man, go forth and do belligerent things. Well you can count. Yes. Let's see what this is here. It's supposed to be a... Holy damn. Yes, sir. This shit here... Alright, so... People who want to give me stuff... Listen. I appreciate that shit. I really, really do. But... Man, listen. When people want to give me shit that's worth way more than... What I feel like I should be given... Like this? This is a hundred fucking dollars. Like... Look at that shit. Getting SD cuts in it. It's extra badass. And it's gonna be extra, extra badass because my camera is silencer co-made so it'll match and it'll be good. What are you doing, boy? Are you cat? Say hi to Navy Man's cats. Ah. Yes. Good. All right, get the hell out of my house. Update on the honey badger is uh, it doesn't work and it's not drop safe, everyone. I dropped this thing two times a couple of days ago. Uh, the first time I dropped it was I had it in between the uh, door panel of my truck, the seat. So I had to piss so bad. I was on my first road trip with it and I had to pee really fucking bad. So we go to McDonald's and the place that I parked was right off the highway, driver's side facing the highway. I and I fucking pull in there and open the door and honey badger down on the middle of the fucking concrete. It didn't actually fall all the way out of the truck. I caught it between the little step thingy and, uh, and my hand. So I got that back up in there. That was from the first drop. There's a little mark right there, which you can kind of, yeah, you can see it a little bit. And then the second time I dropped it was when I got home. And then that one was the worst one because I opened the door and the whole damn thing fell out and it fell onto the ground like this. So it hit fucking right there and it hit the ground hard enough to give enough torque to do that see that little bitty gap i mean like the gap that you are like oh, man, that's not a gap well it is faggot and it's bent the fucking entire honey badger rail this rail is three hundred dollars and it indexes on the receiver up here with these two ears and that's how it keeps it from walking this way side to side and it keeps from walking forward with this stupid piece of shit goddamn dumbass turnbuckle assembly that good luck finding a fucking wrench that'll fit in there because of course everyone has to make everything proprietary and difficult to fucking use anyway I removed the rail, I tried to bend that ear back into place, but it would not work at all. Put it back on there, I clamped the connector part here and here with an arms mount, so that way the little piece on the arms mount uh, grabs half on the upper and half on the rail, and it keeps that in that spot perfectly. So I clamped that down and then just tightened the fucking dog shit out of that. And since I've taken it off, I've shot it and it hasn't uh, moved. <clears throat> it hasn't walked the amount that it can walk. So that's good. However, as you will see in the footage after this, it is a jam -o -matic. Now, I was shit in my pants because I was asked her about it, obviously. It was double feeding and it wasn't feeding subs. Apparently it says in the instruction manual, these guns, no matter how much you adjust the gas block, you will never get them to run subs unsuppressed. So I was aware but unaware if that was 100% or not, but well, now I know that it is. Now, the supers, when I was shooting the supers out of that thing, it was still double feeding and fucking up. And the reason that it was that is because the extractor on the bolt carrier group that I was using had been worn out. And then here we are, Radian Raptor. Extra bad ass. Ooh, that shit right there feels so good to work. 
as a lefty. Like, uh, I mean, getting used to doing this number was one thing, especially if you don't have like a flip sight at the back, and then it's not really an issue. But if you do run rear buoys, then it does get in the way. But now this right here is makes it look like a goddamn fucking fighter jet or some shit. Oh yeah, cat. Thank you, sir. The mileage will be heavy. Oh, you got your teeter out. Mm. Oh, fuck. Mm. We teeter him, doggy. This is really gonna fucking probably be belligerent as fuck. Ow! Ay, ay, ay! Owie! Owie! This has no fucking recoil. That's like a 22, dude. That's literally like a 22. Yes. <laughs> Who said some shit? Out of the box fucking doesn't work. Of course. It's all content. Uh, three more subs, 220. Another double feed on 220 subs. So, I was hitting here. These two were the last two. Uh, or, or these two were. And that was, down here was the front, I made eight clicks. From eight clicks, it went from here to here. I just made eight more clicks and shot at this same spot right here again. And I'm still hitting here when I just put eight fucking clicks of adjustment on the stupid son of a bitch. EOTech is garbage. Oh no. God damn. You son. hear that EOTech? Get it together. Here we go. This is it. This is it. They fucking did this thing at the factory with a suppressor. That's the only answer, unless the guy that I bought this from lied and said that he didn't put any rounds through this. This has had a suppressor mounted on it, no question. Now, I can't give a full fuck this thing until I play with the gas setting some more, but if it was tuned to run reliably suppressed, this makes sense. <laughs> Yay. Yes. Oh. Oh, you're oh. being talk show. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy, you're oh, a magician. Oh. A magician. Oh. Fuck yeah. That's true. I was like, oh. 